subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never miss an update. In this video, we will open up the ventilator and will show each part and relate with the block diagram that it is in the service manual. So we will we'll be cross checking and we will be identifying how it is looking on the block diagram and how it is looked in the real life situation. So first we will be having a just overlook of the over opened ventilator so you can have a just uh, be a familiar with the structure and then we will be starting with the uh, labeling and what are the things in it. This is the tube which sucks the air from the air filter and then it goes to the blower. We are opening the blower muffler. You can see the blower, the turbine blower of the ventilator. So this generates the compressed air, compressed air. Let's have an overview of it. This is a pneumatic block diagram of BAPAP vision. So from this side 5200 PSI oxygen inlet, then there is O2 regulator, then it goes to proportional O2 control valve, then it goes to oxygen flow sensor. From there it goes downward towards the oxygen baffle. The air inlet, it from the from that the air travels to the blower muffler to it goes to a blower then it goes to the ILFR inline flow restrictor that has two PCB board that connection and then it comes to PRV that is pressure regulation valve then this also has an exhaust muffler then from that oxygen baffle it goes to a air flow sensor where there is a thermistor to check the temperature and then it goes to the patient. This is the oxygen inlet where from the oxygen enters the ventilator. Then it goes to the O2 regulator, proportional O2 control valve. From the oxygen regulator, it goes to proportional O2 control valve. Then it goes to the oxygen flow sensor. The complete uh, structure you can see it's the oxygen flow sensor. I am trying to show different angles of the flow sensor. Then it goes down to then goes to the oxygen baffle. The below is the oxygen baffle. Here at this point air also reaches at this point. So let's see how air travels. From air from the turbine or the blower, when it is highly pressurized, it goes towards the inline flow restrictor also called as ILFR. From ILFR, it goes to PRV, that is pressure regulation valve. Then it goes to the oxygen baffle, where both oxygen and air get mixed. After that, there is air flow sensor, air flow sensor, which has also has a temperature sensor with it. Then the it finally goes to the patient. Now we can we will see the front end to patient. This is the front end, so this will directly go to the patient. The PCB has the interface, the green PCB you can see it has the interface control with the front. So it uh, you can set all the data, all the parameters and this was the engineering of a ventilator. Now let's see the complete block diagram. So now we will be seeing the BiPAP vision block diagram. So let's see from the AC power. So from here, the AC input goes to the AC inlet, then there are fuse, then there are power inlet, then it goes to transformer. From there, it goes to power supply system, that is PSS, then there is main power switch and circulation fan. Then the power supply 
gives the from fan circulation it gives to fan current sense to pressure control and from power supply it goes to the bulk system and main control that is mc also there are nerves called remote alarm connector that are in the main uh, main controller then rs232 diagnostic connector from the main control there is icb which uh, goes to the display control where there is a liquid con- liquid crystal display for the displaying of all the parameters and all the displaying uh, things that are needed for the clinical purpose then audible alarm rotary encoder and touchpad so these switches are on the side by side of the screen so the controls and the input are taken uh, taken from this and given to main controller then uh, the pressure control has control lines which go which goes to the pneumatic system then uh, the pressure control also has the oxygen module option and air module circuitry afm so power and data these uh, these are given then we come to air inlet from air inlet it there is filter enclosure blower muffler blower ilfr valve then prv valve then afm flow body then here comes the front panel there is pressure patient pressure sense so it will sense the pressure coming from the uh, patient side the patient circuitry so there are uh, tubes for sensing the feedback from the patient so it uh, there is pneumatic uh, it's pneumatic signal that is stays converted into electrical signal and it is given to the pressure control then it goes to the main main control so this was the overall block diagram of bypass vision Thank you for watching.